I got a couple of comments from viewers telling me that the British media has been trying to make racial attacks against the former Duchess of Sussex and the current Duchess of Ratchetness, Meghan Markle. While I understand your Meghan Markle is struggling in the United Kingdom as related to her name and her image, I do not have any sympathy for your Duchess of Ratchetness, Meghan Markle. And the reason why I don't have any sympathy for your Duchess of Ratchetness, Meghan Markle, is because your Duchess of Ratchetness, Meghan Markle, never wanted to claim foundational black Americans and wanted nothing to do with foundational black Americans. Now, while your Meghan Markle is a biracial black woman, she has made no efforts to reach out to the community of foundational black Americans or even acknowledge her blackness in this country. And because she has not made a single effort to reach out to us foundational black Americans or acknowledge her own blackness, then I really have no sympathy for your Meghan Markle because if she's not claiming us, then we don't really need to claim her. And if she wants to go out here and be part of the great American melting pot, which is what she did when she was out here, she was trying to pass for white, then I can pass right by her and all of her so-called struggles and problems because she wanted to be accepted by those white people. And if she wants to go out here and be accepted by those whites in society, then she can go deal with whatever consequences she has to deal with with those whites in society, whether it be the whites she was involved with before she married Prince Harry or the current white people she's involved with right now. If she's not claiming black as related to foundational black Americans, then we don't really need to acknowledge whatever problems she's having. She can go deal with that on her own. Now, the second reason why I have no sympathy for your Duchess of Ratchetness, Meghan Markle, is because when she got involved with Prince Harry, she had to understand the family she was going to become a part of. Now, your Meghan Markle, when she married Prince Harry, was not just marrying the prince of the royal family. No, she was also marrying into the first family of white supremacy. Now, anybody who has read a history book knows that the British Empire and the royal family signed off on slavery when they were colonizing these United States. And part of that signing off on slavery was establishing the institution of white supremacy here in the United States and also spreading this whole culture of white supremacy like a gospel all across the world. And if you're going to marry into the royal family, then you need to know that you're going to be a part of the first family of white supremacy. And the first family of white supremacy is not going to go out here and accept you because your Prince Harry is descended from individuals who believe in white supremacy, the belief that whites are superior and better than everybody in the world. This is a doctrine and a dogma that they have taught all over this planet as they have colonized all parts of the world and they have taught this dogma all over the world. So your Meghan Markle, when she got involved with your Prince Harry, that had to have come across her mind to say, I'm not just getting involved with a prince as part of the royal family. 
I'm getting part involved with this institution of white supremacy. And if I'm getting involved with this institution of white supremacy, then there's a chance that these people who are a part of his family and part of his staff, these people, they are, may not accept me. But your Meghan Markle, what she wanted to do was create this covert contract in her mind, thinking that if she went out here, passed for white, and then got involved with Prince Harry, she would be able to go and be a part of white supremacy, and then white supremacy would give her a pass for trying to pass for white. That was the covert contract that your Meghan Markle established with your Prince Harry and never wanted to really admit to, but she didn't understand that the royal family was not signing on for that covert contract because the royal family is a the founding fathers of white supremacy and the royal family is the foundation of white supremacy. And with them being the founding family of white supremacy, the first family of white supremacy, they don't have to sign off on anything and the people of, who are a part of that empire don't need to sign off on acknowledging or accepting your Meghan Markle and the people in the UK were not going to sign off and accept this biracial black woman trying to pass as a part of their institution of white supremacy because the institution of white supremacy, one of the first rules of that institution is because I say so, because I'm white, and they don't have to accept anybody black in their institution. And your Meghan Markle should have known this getting involved with these white supremacists, but she got involved with these white supremacists anyway, thinking that, oh, because I have some crystal brown eyes and some creamy light skin, these people will allow me to pass into our institution and become a part of their royal institution, become a part of their kingdom, and become a princess in their royal institution. Well, those people in the royal family, they weren't going to have that because, again, as the first family of white supremacy, their first goal is protecting and preserving white hegemony, and they're also about protecting the institution of white supremacy from interlopers. So they were going to go and close ranks on your Meghan Markle from day one. Yes, they allowed that beta male Prince Harry to go out here and marry her for the politically correct reasons, but then after he went and married her for the politically correct reasons, they then closed ranks on your Prince Harry and your Meghan Markle, and they made the situation untenable for them until th this led to your Prince Harry, who is not in any way directly in line to the throne, being forced to give up his position in the royal family. And that was also exacerbated by your Duchess of Ratchetness trying to gain control in that household because she had practically emasculated your Prince Harry because she feared losing control, but she didn't understand you never had control because in the institution of white supremacy, they are the ones who control the horizontal. They are the ones who control the vertical. And because this is dogma practically in every country in this world, they are the ones who control the rules of everything. And your Meghan Markle walked in here thinking, oh, I can make a covert deal so that I can become a part of the institution of white supremacy. I can try to pass with my crystal brown eyes and my creamy light skin. But the white supremacist was not going to allow your Meghan Markle to become a part of their institution. And that's one of the reasons why they kicked Prince Harry, as I see it, out and why your Prince Harry had to leave because 
that institution of white supremacy is governed by a set of rules. And again, the first rule is, is it's because I'm white. And the second is because I say so. And if you don't want to follow the rules of white supremacy, they will show you the door. And they showed them the door. And again, I have no sympathy for your Meghan Markle because she wanted to make a deal with white supremacy. She wanted to get a pass from white supremacy and she wanted to become a part of white supremacy. She has never, again, acknowledged foundational black Americans. She has never wanted to support foundational black Americans. She has never acknowledged her blackness. So why should I feel bad about a so-called black woman, biracial black woman, who wanted to go out here and pass, and now that she's getting some boots in her backside, why should I feel sorry for someone who had no efforts to acknowledge a foundational black American man like myself and has always wanted the acceptance of these other groups? If you want to go out here and be a part of those other groups, then you deal with the consequences of those other groups. And that is the unwritten rule that white supremacy has regarding white women who get involved with black men. That is the unwritten social rule other groups like Hispanics and Asians have regarding women getting involved with black men and of men of other races. Once you leave the group and you want to become part of another group, then whatever happens to you happens to you and those consequences are what you're going to have to deal with. And again, I have no sympathy for your Duchess of Ratchetness, Meghan Markle. She is just receiving karma for the ratchet scheme she had. She thought she was going to marry into the first family of white supremacy. She thought she was going to marry into that family, dictate the terms to that family, because she was a so-called black feminist and was going to show how she was going to be the equal of a white woman. But those white women, starting with the queen, showed her her place in their racial hierarchy. And in their racial hierarchy, they don't see Meghan Markle as the same as a royal white woman. No, they see her as a common black woman. And they're letting her, they let her know that she was a common black woman. And again, they talked about how she was bullying their staff. And again, that was all on her because she wanted to try to dominate these white supremacists in their institution. And when you try to dominate a white supremacist in his institution that he establishes, what he's going to do is instruct, that's what they do is instruct your son, if you either want this woman or you want the crown, and he decided to go with his woman and give up his crown because he wanted to be, he knew that they weren't going to accept him into the family with this woman. And now she's sitting here talking about trying to be the victim, but you're not the victim because you wanted to be a part of white supremacy. You wanted nothing to do with black people. You wanted no support from foundational black Americans. You wanted no support from the black community. You didn't want to acknowledge your blackness because you thought because you had a white zaddy and some crystal brown eyes and creamy white skin, you thought that you were better than black Americans. And that's why black Americans, when we hear about the Duchess of Ratchetness getting jacked up and tuned up, we have no sympathy and no empathy for this woman because like your swirlers out here, they wanted to hashtag divest and they wanted to go out here and level up. Well, your Meghan Markle, she has leveled up to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords of white men and white supremacy is still seeing her as somebody at the bottom of society. And if they wanna see her as the bottom of society, then that's on them because if you want to be a part of that institution, then you deal with whatever comes 
from that institution. Now, if you want to see me make more classic videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to pick up some of my SJS Direct publications that feature positive images of black men and black women, like the ISIS series, the Esteem series, the John Haynes series, and the books of the Spinsterella trilogy, you can find those books on Amazon.com or other online booksellers. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.